Hey everybody, meandering Newfoundlander here. It's been a while since we've seen each other and there's uh, reasons for that. It's been what, three weeks since I uploaded an actual new video, I think. Well, over the last few weeks I've been busy getting ketamine treatments and I don't know if it's the ketamine that's doing it or not, but I just can't get it in my head to go make a video. I finally forced myself today because I figured uh, I should give an update anyway, at least uh, why I'm not posting videos. And the uh, best way for me to, uh, to explain it to you is uh, take you for a walk. Let's go for a little stroll and do a walk and talk. The main reason I haven't been out anywhere lately is because of my anxiety. It's been just brutal through the roof. I can't get out of the house. It's like my house is a jail cell. St. John's is a prison. And to get outside the prison, I gotta go through all the cell blocks, I guess, if that makes sense. No, I just, uh, like lately, it's been three weeks since I made a video. It's been over two weeks since I rode my motorcycle. I just uh, can't get into it. And even these walks, this is my first walk in three or four days. The other reason I slacked off going out, at least my interpretation of my, what's going on inside my head is anyway is I simply don't have any sense of joy or awe in the things I do anymore like riding the motorcycle I get nothing out of it making videos I get nothing out of it so I'm doing these things that are supposed to make me feel better but they're not doing their job and it's uh, kind of discouraging and debilitating at times Yeah, my uh, my brain and my mind is all pretty complicated right now. But I made it out today, enjoying a little bit of sun. We'll see how that affects my mood. It's very frustrating and discouraging when the things you enjoy start falling away and crumbling away from your grasp. Because like I was big into writing, I used to write daily, and uh, now I can't put my thoughts together to uh, to even write a paragraph, and uh, that's that's my, that's quite a bit for me to uh, to handle, and it's been uh, something that's been playing on my mind for the last year and a bit. However, it's, however long it's been since I kind of stopped writing, it's not that I stopped. It's just all of a sudden I didn't know how to write. It's weird how your mind can work like that. It can take you from being competent one day to being totally incompetent and useless the next day. Among the reasons that are kind of, I don't know, I guess acceptable that for not uh, wanting to go out and do things, there's a lot of silly, trivial reasons as well that I just can't shake. It's, uh, it's, Again, it's weird how the mind works. For example, my vehicle's parked next to my lawn and I'm scared to drive it because I'm worried that somebody's gonna go and park in my spot. And uh, it's not really even my spot because it's a public road, I know that. But it's maybe it's a control thing, I don't know. But it's I see it as my spot because I park there every single day for the last Three or three years or four years, and uh, and I've adopted it. So when I see somebody else park there, I get quite agitated and angry over it. I don't display my anger, but I do get quite angry. But that's just to give you an idea of something that's silly. Like another another thing is, I won't go out on my deck if I see my neighbor's garage door open. I see that open, therefore I know he's there, and I just 
can't be comfortable on my deck because I sense his presence. And half the time he's probably not even in there. I also look out for the dog. I'll look out to my window and if I see the dog out in the yard, I'll probably avoid going outside. That's usually uh, what I do. And uh, the dog barks a bit, but it's not at it constantly anymore. So that's a good thing. But yet I still get this huge burst of anxiety in me. It's like a reaction, a very agitated, angry reaction. As soon as I hear that dog going, burp, 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 whatever it makes, <laughs> I, uh, I, fl I start flipping out inside. And uh, luckily I've been able to get my visual, I guess, or actually acting out on those aggressions. At least I've been able to uh, put a stop to that for the most part. Yeah, I still kick things and push things and throw things, but I'm getting a lot better at it. So, I'm not really sure where this channel is going to go from here. <laughs> I do want to make videos. I got that urge to make videos. I just uh, don't have the motivation or inspiration to uh, actually go ahead and actually do it. So I don't know what's going to become of that part of it. Because, like I mentioned before, things that I've been doing, like riding the motorcycle, that's been parked for almost three weeks, and I have absolutely no desire to go and start it up and go for a ride, even though today it's like plus 17 and sunny. I should be taking advantage of these days before the colder days start kicking in very soon. Another thing I had planned was to do a lot of hikes and overnight hikes and uh, on the East Coast Trail. I got all kinds of new gear, spent probably $1,500 on uh, hiking and camping gear between stoves and tents and air mattresses and hammocks and the whole works. But as soon as it all arrived in the mail, like I got it, it's all here in my hands, it's like the urge disappeared again and it was replaced with some irrational fear. It's like I have this fear of going hiking on those trails now. I have a fear of staying out there overnight. Isn't that just craziness? Anyway, my fingers are crossed that very soon I will actually be able to force myself outside the house and get some more videos. This is a, a tiny, tiny, tiny step in the right direction today. I got out of the house and I actually went for a walk with my dog, so I'll give myself a pat on the back for doing that much. So hopefully I'll see you soon on, again on this side of the camera, the other side of the camera, and uh, showcasing some of our beautiful communities again, <clears throat> which is what my intention is, is to get out and film these nice, beautiful scenic locations and, uh, and share them with you because I love my province. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And I need to get back out and uh, show that to you. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for putting up with me, and uh, thanks for sticking around. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I got over 800 now, and uh, once I hit 1,000, I get access to some features that I don't have access to right now. At least that's my understanding. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, don't worry about it. Don't subscribe. Anyway, take care of yourselves, and it was uh, great chatting with you today.